So I heard this really, really nice line. It was played by one of my favorite alto players named Baptiste Herbin. I'm never going to begin to try to pronounce it right. So this video is just going to be about transcribing it and trying to play it myself. All right, I'm transcribing on campus and there's a little birdie. He won't leave me alone, but that's okay. This environment is such a nice place to transcribe. Look at this. What more could you ask for? This campus is incredible. Also check me out. That is not how to spell my name, but I totally welcome it. I'm almost done. I'm gonna get that Altissimo line. All right, I have the entire line now. So I'm gonna go ahead and work my way home. But first, I'm gonna read the first few pages of this. My professor here recommended it, and I'm very curious it's about Charlie Parker's life. Let's get in there. All right, I finished, and this is kind of terrifying. Swimming in Lake Prohibited. I did not plan on it, but thank you. Get in there, duck. Get that food. Yeah. This campus is so different than my undergrad. This is like a zoo. Sometimes I see iguanas here with freaking dragon fangs. I feel like they could just fly and breathe fire on them. All right, before I go home, I'm gonna do some rock climbing. Get it, bro. Get in there, Edgar. <laughs> no, that was it? Oh, oh my God. Hello, it is 2.09 a.m. So let's go ahead and get started. So I haven't touched this yet, so what I want to do is fact check my own handwritten transcription here. And how I'm going to do that is all I'm going to do is play with the recording first. So let's see if it matches up. Let me make sure I got every note right. Okay, so I didn't get all the inflections in there, but the pitches are right. Okay, so before I start, I like to analyze the material I'm about to practice before I actually start practicing it. I'm a big believer that it makes it stick better and you just learn it way faster. So in order to analyze exactly what's going on here, first we need to get the chords. Now after a while of a lot of playing, you can just kind of hear the changes, but I know a lot of my audience aren't quite there, and I have troubles sometimes too. The changes are often revealed by the bass note. The bass note tends to play the root on a downbeat. Sometimes they don't, but usually they do. Now, if you play an instrument that's not a very low instrument, like an alto saxophone, you might have trouble hearing bass notes a lot, right? So here's a pretty cool trick I learned in undergrad if you want to get a bass line really fast. It's not going to teach you how to listen to bass notes any better, so if you really want to learn how to listen to bass notes, you need to just really iron out and really just try to hear. But if you're just making a quick YouTube video and you want to get this done fast, and this is a really fast trick. You take your app and shift the song up in pitch by a whole octave. Ta-da! So now all those low bass notes will be up in octave and everything else will be a bit too high so it's easy to ignore that. So now listen to it. So right off the bat. Ba, da, de, oh, oh. to saxophone concert F. That's where that line begins. And then there is the G, the concert B flat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna transcribe this bass line real quick. Okay, so I'm finished. Now the tune is called Minton's Blues, but it's not quite a standard uh, blues changes. So let me go ahead and show you what's going on here. Okay, so that lick begins on the five chord of a blues, so a concert F7. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna play really lame voicings. But it goes five chord into one, B flat seven. 
And then for a bit, it just repeats this B flat seven down a whole step into an A flat seven. And does it again. And does it again. Then here it goes down a whole step, plays that dominant seven, and then it goes down a half step into this F7, and we're back into the five chord, and then it goes back, and then it repeats. And it changes later, but in this lick, those are the changes. So I'm going to go ahead and write this into a notation software so that you guys can see something much more beautiful than my handwriting. Great. Okay, so the original speed of this, let's go ahead and see what it is before we get started. So we know what our goal is. Oh god. Baptiste always plays the craziest licks, so I already know this is going to be a horror story. That is ridiculously fast. I honestly really doubt I can get at that speed in just this practice session alone, but I'll get it as high as I can. So let's just see what that tempo is. It's about 170. Ooh, okay, so if this lick defeats me, it wouldn't be the first time by Baptiste. Now that you have the beautiful sheet music, let's go ahead and analyze it. So this first pattern is pretty interesting. Starting on the flat sound of that D7, he goes up a major third, comes back down to where he started, and then he plays two chromatic pitches into the next downbeat. And then when he gets to the next downbeat, he does the same set of intervals. So this is a pattern. And it carries all the way over to the end of the first beat of the next bar, that G7. Now if we analyze the notes outside of the D7, first one we see that's non-diatonic is the B flat. So the B flat acts as a flat 13, which is a nice color tone in a dominant chord. Later on, we see an A flat, which is another nice color tone. It's the flat five, or you call it the sharp four. And those are the only exotic notes that we see. So really, if you play all those notes, ignore the chromatic passing tones. You get a whole tone scale. So this is a whole tone pattern. Really, really cool. All right, so we already learned a new pattern. Okay, let's keep going. So now, because I analyzed it, it's not going to feel like I'm just sight reading something. I know that everything in this line has structure and has meaning. Right now I'm at 50 beats per minute. The target was 170. Now in my opinion, if the run is dirty in any shape or fashion, or if there's any crackle, or the intonation's terrible, it's not a legitimate repetition. I don't care for getting up to speed if it's all dirty. You know, I'd rather just not have it up to speed but I can play cleanly at another tempo and then I'll try to conquer it the next day. And if not that day, then the next day. to die so this is a perfect time to take a little break and charge my wow look i like this new camera but holy crap it dies so fast and it's the most annoying thing in the world okay let's try 110 <laughs> Squeaked. Bad. 
study this lick a little more I need to go to bed yeah this would be a nice thing to have one of my fingers I think I'm gonna really extract some of these patterns like that whole tone one and take it through the keys and the full range of the horn this whole lick and then pasted it into a solo. This is the culmination of a lot of his knowledge. He obviously has a lot of understanding of passing tones, enclosures, upper structure substitutions, patterns, and just a beautiful fluency in altissimo register. Baptiste is a bad man. All right, well, I'm gonna go to bed because it's getting pretty late. I'm gonna turn this off. Now, as far as that giveaway, I was actually wrong about something. He's not giving this away. So this actually took him, he said, 40 hours to make? Good God, because it was his first attempt. So the guy that made this, he makes a lot of websites. He's a digital artist expert. So he actually made these posters. Let me get them out. So this was made by himself. So I have three of these to give away. And I can like sign a thank you note for subscribing or I can sign a, um, I'll do something. We'll see. The winners will be announced this Wednesday and it will be announced in the community post. So stay tuned for that, there's a lot of commenters. All right, well thank you for subscribing. Thank you for 79.1 thousand subscribers. Ah! All right, well have a fantastic day.